Hi everybody, welcome to Project Reindeer Games. I'm here to give you a quick walkthrough on just how easily and quick anyone can create their very own professional quality PC game from the comfort of their own home. So let's get to it. To start, let's head over to our Project Reindeer Game website. Okay, we're here. So let's head on over to our game selection page. Okay, now let's choose a game. And for this video, we're going to choose Who's Afraid of the Dark? All right. Now we are on Who's Afraid of the Dark's game page. Now you'll notice all sorts of things on this page. Screenshot, trailers, etc. But you'll also notice we also have game files. And this is where we download them. So let's get started. Let's move over and to the game file area and begin downloading and making our game. So let's start at the top here with the game file itself. First, make sure you have a blank CD handy. Next, simply right click on the game file and you'll be prompted to save it. Let's click the save as target or save target as, depending on your browser, it may say save link as, etc. But it's pretty all much all the same. Now let's go ahead and save it to the CD. So once we select save target, as we simply navigate to and find save in the CD DV drive, you'll find this under your computer. Once you select your CD drive as your save destination site, the CD tray will pop out and you simply insert your CD and select save. And that's it. Just that easy to get the, the game files onto a disk. Okay, with that done, now let's deal with the art files for our game. Now before we tackle printing out all our art files, let's take a second to talk about paper and printer options and settings. In most cases, the multi-use paper and default printer settings you usually use and refer to as normal quality settings will work just fine. Now, the only alternative we suggest is if you do have some photo paper laying around the house, we recommend you may want to use a sheet of it uh, with our cover and back art file printout, as it really makes the cover and back art uh, file sh shine and pop and really creates a nice look. Uh, but if you only have multi-use paper, that's fine too. It may, it'll work for everything. Okay, so with the paper discussion out of the way, let's start printing. Let's start with the manual front. Make sure you have the paper you're going to use in the printer ready to go. And now simply left click on the file on the screen saying game manual front. The PDF file will pop up on your screen. All right, next let's find where the icon, the printer icon is. It's usually in the top left or bottom right. And let's left click on it and a prompt will pop up. Now, this is very important. In order for the artwork to print out the proper size, you have to make sure the printer options are set correctly. Thankfully, this is easy to check. Once you left click on the printer options on the PDF page, the printer prompt box will pop up as we see. And here's where you can quickly check to make sure everything is set correctly. In some browsers, this means making sure page scaling is set to none. In some other browsers, it may mean to unclick fit, unfit click to page. You want to make sure where it says fit to page, you want that unclicked. Or in others, it may you may need to select actual size, you want that selected. The key here is all the same. Whatever browser and printer prompt, our goal is the same. Simply to make sure we don't shrink the image in any way. For some reason, some of these printers love to shrink PDFs and it can drive a person batty and wreck your printout because everything's uh, perfectly scaled for the CD case. So we want to make sure nothing changes. So we also go over all this in our printer guide that you'll see on our site. So if you're new to these options or you may want to check or go at your own pace, yeah, you can look up the printer guide and it'll spell out everything there with screenshots and everything. It's really not too difficult. Okay, so once we're happy with our settings, we know our printer is going to print the actual size of the PDF, we simply hit OK and there we go, we're going to print the manual front. And the nice thing about this is once the settings are done, they usually will remain correctly set from then on, so you don't have to worry about keep resetting them all the time. That's usually the case. All right, now once your manual front prints out, it's time to print the manual inside. It's exactly the same process. So left click on the game manual inside file, third file there, the PDF pops up, and you select printer, just like we just did. Now the only tricky part to printing the inside of the manual is since this manual is two-sided, you must load back into the printer the manual front we just printed. The artwork is scaled, so it's going to line itself up just right, so you don't have to worry about that. But we just have to be careful not to print upside down. So to ensure this doesn't happen, we simply slip the manual front art sheet right back into the feeder the same way it came out. And so exactly how this came out of that printer when we did the manual front, you want to lay it right back down. So there we'll have a picture of it. Now lay it right back in the feeder the same way it came out. Now the paper will go back in 
and it's ready to go. Now you just hit print, and bingo, your manual is now completely printed. Once done, simply take it out of the printer and set it aside. Now it's time to move over to our game cover and back art file. Again, simply left click the cover and back art file and select printer. Now, if you have some photo paper available, now's the time to place a sheet into your printer. And be mindful if you're going to use photo paper to change your printer options. You'll find them here under properties and then just change paper to photo paper and quality settings to best. If you're still using normal multi-use paper here, once again, normal default settings are just fine. So you don't have to adjust anything. Now let's print the cover and back art file. So once we have the paper in there we're going to use, we just hit OK. Now let's this print out. It may take a few moments depending on how you've set it on best quality or normal quality. But once it's done, set it aside and let it dry for a few minutes because it usually has a lot of ink on this. OK, now with that done, now you have the option to print out a CD label. Now this is only for those people who may have some CD label paper at home. And it's entirely an optional step. If you have CD label paper, we're going to assume you know how to use it. In this case, simply download the CD label art JPEG and then resize it to whatever CD label template you're used to using. And then just print away. It's, it's self-explanatory. Okay, at this point we would have everything printed out. So it's time to grab some scissors. If you look closely at all our artwork, each has thin outlines for you to cut along. So go to it. Be careful not to touch the cover of back art much as it may smudge. So just try to touch and hold the white borders if possible. Now once we have cut out all our artwork, it's time to assemble. So let's find an old CD case. In this case, I'm taking apart some old country singer CD. I have no clue as how I came about into owning. Anyway, give it a little cleaning and then let's just open up the CD case and take out all the artwork. Pop out that black center CD holder and remove the back artwork. Now, that all cleared out. Now it's time to pop in our new stuff. Pop in the back cover first. Make sure it's set in there correctly. Now pop in the black CD holder over that. Now you can slide in the CD front cover. Now fold the game manual in half and slide that you know, so it's sitting right there. And finally just pop in the CD. Now if you don't have a CD label on your CD, we simply suggest you flip over the CD to the shiny side. So that looks cool and allows a professional look even without the artwork on there. And with that, voila, we're done. Hey, what do you know? You made a professional looking game CD. Now, all that's left is you to gift wrap it. And we're gonna leave that up to you. And with that, we're done. Pretty simple and kind of fun, right? Now you're well on your way to making many gifts and creating a lot of smiles. Hey, thanks for joining us. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.